is a story of the very talented drummer Jeff Porcaro. Jeff Porcaro was a drummer of the 80s and especially the drummer of the Toto Band. He found with the keyboardist and vocalist David Page, the guitarist Steve Lukather, his brother Steve Porcaro on the keyboard, another brother Mike Porcaro on the bass, and the lead vocals with Bobby Kimball. All starting in 1984 with the birth of Jeffrey, son of professional drummer Joe Porcaro, and a musical brotherhood with Steve and Mike. Jeff attended the Grant High School in California and played drums there. He was so talented, even Jim Keltner, one of the many Phil's Beatles, said Jeff was a genius. We are in LA in the 70s and Jeff joined the famous Tilidan band. And he's used to work with keyboardist David Page. He spent all his days in studio recording drum tracks for other artists. At a point, he's the most recorded drummer in the 70s and the 80s. Everyone wanted Jeff on the drums on the album. Like Michael Jackson on Thriller, Paul McCartney on The Girl Is Mine, Elton John Jump Up, Diana Ross on the Ross album, Bruce Springsteen with Human Touch, Pink Floyd as Mother, The Rhythm Was Too Complex for Nick Mason, Lionel Richie Running With The Night, Behind The Sun for Eric Clapton, for Madonna on Like a Prayer, on the Bee Gees and Flunkin and many many more. He got several surnames, like the Groove Master, or standing on his pearl drum kit as a man with a golden groove, or the Master of Shuffle based on Ghost Nuts. Yes, his bit signature is a half-time shuffle, like the one on the song Rosanna. Jeff Porcaro explained once the halftime is a groove based on triplets resulting from the mix of two beats from two records Full in the Rain by Led Zeppelin played by John Bonham and Home at Last from Steely Dan played by Bernard Purdy that is very hard to play and is really the beat of the 80s like the Toto album number 4. If people ask Jeff for a solo, he will say he hated drum solo. Jeff was humble and modest, not a show of man. He preferred standing in the back just trying to keep the groove. He also was reluctant to discuss his equipment but finally handles pearl drums, paste and regal tip sticks. But one thing is Jeff wanted everything clean on stage because of all old make and drum stands and wires, sometimes resulting in a bundle of snakes on the floor. So he and his drum tech designed a foldable and stable metallic structure, permitting less drums and mix stands, and each element could be changed within two bars. He brought a new and innovative equipment to the drummer world, the drum rack. But a summer day of 1992, after spraying insecticide in his home garden, he got a heart attack and died too soon, at the age of 38. A huge shock as the best drummer was gone. And still is a reference as the modern drummer. Lyrics of the song Kingdom of Desire are written on his grave. Big hail to the legendary Jeff Porcaro, the most recorded studio drummer of the 80s, the man with a golden groove and the master of shuffle.